Today here in Florinopolis, we're on the north side of the island. I'm gonna talk for about two and a half minutes and give you the sense, the vibe I get from this side of the island. Then after that, we're gonna go and I'm gonna show you a few beaches along the way. So get ready, cause we'll be doing some hiking, some bouldering over rocks, going through crevices and around some trails to get to all these beaches. And after the video, if you have any questions or suggestions, just go ahead and leave them down in the comment section. For now, sit back, relax, and enjoy the video. Another beach here in Florinopolis. Jurea Beach. We're here at Jurea Beach here in Florinopolis. It's one of the chill beaches. It has a private beach feel, although there's sections right in front of the hotel, but I think most of the beach here is public. A lot of area where you can go for a run from this point all the way down to that other end there. If you want to come out here and you want to do a run, it's a lot of people who run this beach. Uh, right now it's kind of, looks like a little bit of high tide, but later in the day, uh, at low tide, it recedes out a little bit more. You got a lot, you know, you got some, some flat space to work with on this beach. It's Southern Brazil during their summertime, summer months, and it's kind of warm out here. So it's humidity's uh, up there. I, I would say it gets, normally every day it gets around like 80 something degrees. You do have nice, cool water. If you need to cool off, you can go out there and cool off. And at certain times of the day, the breeze comes in, and the breeze comes in off the water, and it's pretty cool, so. Overall though, the island, I wouldn't say this island is a party-centric place. It's more of a combination of like a chill, and then you kind of have the, the bohemian vibe in certain beaches here. Overall though, it's a, it's a very chill island to come and relax, take some time off, get some, some time next to the ocean, out in nature, they got good trails here. I gotta uh, do some exploring of those soon. But even, even without the trails, you still have, right by the beach, you still have like little places you can go and walk in the, into the rocks. Some of the beaches here, you can go actually through some trails with some, some trees and all of that. It gets packed in the evening. In the morning, it's almost nobody out here. First, I would say a couple hours of daylight until about 9.30, 10-ish. And that's when people start coming out. By the late afternoon, two o'clock, <laughs> it's a wrap. The full blown, the vendors are out here doing their thing. Um, some parts of the beach is hard to find even space, but it, it's still a good feel. Nobody's, it's not a lot of debauchery on this beach. You see what I'm saying? It's real family oriented, oriented on this beach. A lot of the hotels here actually are geared towards families. So you have, you, like you see right here, you got families along the beach, but uh, a lot of the hotels are geared towards the family stay, almost like the resort feel. Uh, I don't know, the, I got an Airbnb here, so I can't tell you what the resort packages are like. We came from down there, but now we're gonna, we're gonna try to pass all this stuff, see how it goes, try to get to some other some of the other beaches and it's gonna be a lot of going through stuff like this tide is kind of low right now actually you try to try to maintain stability as much as I can, but at a certain point, you just gotta watch a step. Try not to fall on any rocks or get scuffed up. Here is not bad, but there's other areas where if you get a lot worse. So we on this rock here. We could, we could climb over it that way, but I think there's a way to walk around. I see a lot of paths. You know, I see a lot of people who walk these beaches. You'll see it later in the day. You'll see a lot more people out here walking. It's still kind of early. I would say maybe, and it's Monday. And uh, yeah, but normally that picks up around, I'd say like 10.30. This marina right here, it's pretty cool. 
because sometimes they just start putting out boats in the water. I don't know what time they bring them back in, but they got this huge tractor. I'm sure it has a name as well. So I guess he's bringing a boat in. Looks like he's about to put it in the water. They do seem to have a nice, smooth operation. Because when they back them in, I notice they back them in and, um, you know, the, the driver, captain of the boat's ready. He's there. As soon as they put it in, boom, put it in reverse, do a little turn, head out. So I haven't seen them bring one in yet. So I'm be Look at the, the size of that thing. It's a tall tractor. So yeah, just one of those, one of the perks of being out here is if you got time, you know, to explore the island, you can find places like this. There's, there's nobody here. There's nobody on this beach but me. And some boats. There's a dude way over there. Give him two minutes and he'll be off the beach. Off of this beach. I don't know, because the boats are so close, I probably wouldn't want to get in the water right here. You never know if they got a fuel leak issue or, you know, it's probably be small. But to tell you the truth, if it's in my opinion, I don't like swimming around beaches. Oh, look, there's a, a dead puffer fish. Maybe that's a sign not to get in the water right here. Mountain back there. Help, let's see how close they'll let us get. Oh, it's taking off. So we could go through these rocks this way go around but we'll probably have to end up getting wet so what we do is we'll come through this path over here and this is where it turns into from beach going to hiking Twig. Another little beach right here. But yeah, you can come out on a, a area like this. And it's a, another beach. It's kind of private. Private now. Nobody here but us. Alright, we'll take this path over that way. Another beach. people out here in this one. People out getting their walk on. My dear, pretty good stretch of beach. Nobody's here. It's pretty cool though. A lot of homes right there, private residences. But I don't know if the beach is private or not. They, they don't seem to be tripping by people walking, passing by though. And I know some people might feel some kind of way about walking with me taking video, shirt off. But to tell you the truth, if you're out here in Brazil, this time of year, everybody has their shirt off. Old dude, old dude walking up right now, I got a shirt off. I'd actually be pretty uncomfortable no matter what kind of shirt you're wearing. If you're doing a walk like this or anything, you're gonna wanna dress down a little bit just so you can be more comfortable sweating, especially if you sweat like I do. Well, here. So, it's just the culture out here. Shorts, women, when they're on the beach, a lot of them, especially young women, they wear as minimal stuff as possible. They get as much sun on their body as possible, which is understandable. And my shoulder's getting worked by this camera. little bugs that are always bugs that are on these rocks when they're wet and uh sometimes when you approach the rocks you'll see them moving around and then the barnacles and stuff
we're on the side of the beach that, um, you know, you'd have to hike to. It's kind of secluded. It's kind of broken up by rocks, everything like that. So it's, I don't know, that's, that's what's kind of cool about this area. You have a lot of beaches that you can just come out, take a hike. I think we've been going probably about 40 minutes right now. We can still go beyond this point. We probably will. But right here is a good, nice shaded area. This time in the morning, it's still only 8.30. 8.30 in the morning, the temperature is 78 degrees right now. And I, like I said, like I think I've mentioned this before, but Florinopolis is a great place if you just want to come, relax, enjoy the beach, enjoy the weather. And if you come with, you know, a partner or a friend or a group of friends, it's still good for that. Still good for that as well. This thing. Man, see the, the struggles of a content creator trying to give y'all some decent material. I don't want to lose a flip-flop to this ocean. Oh, oh. Got it. Got up on here. All right, we'll head over this way. Another beach. It's cool we can get out here and do this today. And the weather's good for us today as well. Has been a few rainy days out here. All right. Let's see what we got. Beautiful beach. Got some nice homes here too. Maybe one day. Could you imagine if this was your property right here? And you're just on a beach like, yeah, I'm out in front of my house, just chilling. And uh, that back there is my island, my little getaway island. Maybe one day, we'll see. You gotta have dreams though, you gotta dream big. So we'll see how, uh, I don't know, this, the sun is getting, getting up there. And there's another section of the beach over there that we didn't, I don't know what's on the other side of it. I think there's a really long beach on the other side of that, but we're gonna find out. We're gonna try to take this setup and go beach exploring. Yeah, nice, nice beach though. But right now the breeze is really nice. Okay, so what we wanna try to do is go over there and go beyond those rocks. Got some people here. Yeah. Try to see what we can get. That's the thing, you gotta worry about getting over rocks like this. This is nothing, this section. There's a side over there where it's a lot more rocks. So once we get over there, that's gonna be a little bit more tricky. But on the other side of that is a main beach. Here's another isolated beach that we're on here, but that's unusual, right? You don't normally see goats along the beach. Got these guys here. Another day. Sometimes you walk in these beaches alone for too long, you're like, huh, what's, am I okay? Is this a, is it all right to be out on this beach? But I see some people, a couple behind me. So that gives me some more, some more confidence that we're, we're good. We'll try to go over here and see if we can push beyond this point. It's gonna be tricky with the rocks for sure. Setup we have here with the camera and everything. We'll see what we can do, but might have to break this thing down, put it away, maybe get out the GoPro actually. Even that, I might need both my hands for a lot of this, yeah, because it's getting, or maybe we just get the drone up. All right, let's, let's try it though, let's see. Turn off the camera and we'll try to make it over there. So we did get the, the drone flight in. We saw that we can make it over there. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna make it over there. Mosquitoes and shit. Let's push through. Jesus. He 
these bugs are everywhere, man. And these rocks. I think we're almost there. All right, we can get through this. I think we're good. All right, this is the one major rock. And then we get by, over, behind it. I don't know how we're getting over this thing. I really don't want to get in that water with all this electronics on me. Definitely somebody living in here. All right. Oh. Jesus. See the stuff we do? Try to show you what's going on with the world. We'll walk down through here, see what happens. Take my bag off to get through here. This is tight, man. Yep. Uh, okay, I think we might have got it to some relative safety. We could go down there. Well, I think we can go up here too. A little bit, a little bit drier. Yeah. Okay. I think we're there. Can't get too excited because that's when you get hurt. I think GoPro for this video just because of the form factor. All right. So yeah, we got another drone pilot over there. That's pretty cool get it up get ours up as well Looks like they're doing some type of video something like that okay so we made it i would say that probably took an hour and a half from where we were before definitely took some some sweating some scaffolding or scuffling over the rocks you want to be able to swim one in case you have to we need to get out there two you want to be able to you know do a walk and then do some some rock scaffolding just because it's, it, it is a little taxing, especially if you haven't done this path before. You gotta do a little bit of guesswork. When you're out here and you're trying to see what's what, and do what you gotta do. It's, uh, it's the, comes with the business, comes with the territory. But yeah, very nice beach, very nice. Head back over there to that rock and get in, get a drone flight in, maybe to that island. We did a lot of the discovery on the way here, so. At this point, I think maybe we can set up, get some shots, get some drone shots, and go from there. All right, so got it here now. We're on the beach and got the got the filter on. Want to try to mitigate some of the sun, but yeah, it's a. It's a nice day to try out some things, try out the equipment, weather's cooperating with us today. And yeah, I think we can go ahead and get the drone up. We'll post up over here. A lot of people taking pictures here. What is that? Oh, drowning hazard. So could be, could be a little dangerous over here. That's what this sign is saying. Yeah, so you don't see too many people swimming out here, and that's probably for good reason. See, looks like they need a videographer. Somebody with a camera who can actually do something. They've explored the beach here in Junri, Junri Beach. We started off in Junri Beach, and then we went over to, now we're in Pirates Beach. And it's pretty, it's a pretty cool, uh, adventure i would say but this part right here right behind us is is pretty rocky it's not the easiest of paths to go through but it's an adventure that's what we're here for we don't we don't come to places and just always do the easiest thing you know we we do what we need to do the whole space is changing we're gonna have to uh step up our game in a lot of ways just to get get decent content get it going and uh you know, show people more, more of the world, more of what's out there, and more of our experiences. Make sure you subscribe and check in often.
because we will be going around the island of Florinopolis and seeing what else the island has to offer.